Hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Brian Vlog. If you have not subscribed to my channel, do click on the subscribe button at the bottom and click the notification button as well. So when I post a new video, you will receive a notification. Previous video uh, or previous episode, I talk about um, the Rayleigh classic folding bike, which is the one behind me. Um, I do a quick walkthrough. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, do check out um, on my video list. Um, today, I'm going to run through with you some of the upgrade or changes I make to the bike. Um, certain things that I like about the upgrade, certain things I don't like about the upgrade. Um, so I will go through all the item and from there maybe you will get some ideas what you need to change, what you do not want to change, uh, what suits you, what is not. Let's go. First thing first, the first thing I change on the bike is the pedal. The original pedal um, is made up fully with plastic um, and the feeling of stepping to it is not really good, um, doesn't feel it was strong. Um, yeah, maybe it won't break, uh, but it just doesn't feel good. So I try to look for some pedal online and I come across this, um, the brand as Cool 2. I don't know where it's made from. Um, this part is alloy and this is plastic with reflector. Um, selling about 50 plus 60 bucks, um, foldable as well. Alright. So I find it much, much better compared to the original one. Is you feel much secure, much stiff. So this is a good upgrade. I like it. Second item I change is the shifter. Um, the original really classic folding bike come with a Shimano Revo shift, which is you need to turn and twist uh, to change gear. So I change to this thumb type, which you can press here to change the gear and press here to go to the higher gear. Okay, so overall is good. It's not, it's not bad. Um, however, there is one thing that you need to be really aware about is when you going to the higher gear. Let's say the maximum, the number one, the the click, um, the press here, and your hand hold. Uh, maybe I'll change this side for you to see easily. Right uh, from from your handle to the click. It's actually quite far okay of course you can tilt it up but it's still it's a bit far for you to press right this button no worry no problem but when you want to do this you see your hand is already losing the grip right unless you press with your button here you have your index finger right you can do that as well it's a bit strange but it still work Overall, I still think this is a better shifter compared with the Revo shift. Uh, however, if let's say you don't have problem holding the Revo shift, uh, then I think maybe you can live with the Revo shift, right? To me, I my hand kind of pain over here uh, when I use the Revo shift for a longer term. So that's why I changed to this. Uh, to me, this is a good one. Third thing is the grip, right? So since I changed to this index uh, or finger type of shifter, um, you need to change to the better longer grip because the original Revo shift uh, with the with the with the grip is actually this short, so it's not suitable. So you need to change to this one. This one is from Light Pro. Uh, I purposely find it find the same color as a brown color, and I find this grip is really good, comfortable, uh, nice to hold, and um, yeah, like it. A good one then the side mirror okay um, I, I I personally need the side mirror all the time so I need to know what's traffic or car coming from behind me or whether am I too close to them or maybe they're too close to me so I feel more secure with it some people ride without a side mirror but I I like it even my route bike I have it right um, is this okay not bad but it's not the best I find a lot of side mirror when you are on the route, when the route condition is no good, a lot of vibration, it tends to vibrate a lot. So in short, you can't see clearly as well. Uh, I would suggest that if you want to put a side mirror, look for Cat, cat Eye one. Cat Eye produces a very good side mirror. It's a bit expensive, but um, 
worth the money so this to me is okay okay not that good finally the saddle the original saddle is light brown uh, it's a fabric uh, type of PU uh, saddle so I decide I wanted a leather saddle so when I searching around of course Brooks is ultimately what uh, I go to initially uh, but as you know Brook is expensive uh, will cost you uh, B70 will cost about 500 bucks uh, I think 400 something is hardly get nowadays so 500 plus then when I google up I say I, 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 I google I said the top 10 leather um, saddle for bicycle um, Brooks come up of course the top and then this brand uh, I don't know how to pronounce it Gies I, I guess come out as one of the selection as well so without hesitating I checked out some local site but I couldn't find a good one good price so I checked out Taobao in China and I found a seller selling this uh, this cost about 260 ringgit uh, Malaysia in cruise shipping um, you can see it it actually assemble what Brooks is the B17 so that's why it called GS17 right so um, overall is a good saddle i feel very comfortable with it it's a bit hard at the beginning but you know all this leather saddle you need time to break in so far i did about 10 15 kilometer with it and i think it's good it's pretty comfortable um now is to test over time whether does it last as long as brooks or not um it doesn't come with a gel to protect it it doesn't come with a cover uh, it does come with the range to actually tighten it uh, tighten the, the the entire skin area here um yeah that's it so this yet to be tested on a very long distance so far with with no padding pants 10 kilometer i find it's really good you find a bit hard at the beginning but uh, just hold on to it uh, after a while you will find yourself uh, gonna be like liking it right so um i will do another few ride a longer ride and maybe after some time a few months then i review again uh, to see whether how does this thing hold up i hope it hold up as good as a brooks okay so that is it for the upgrade so far okay here you go on episode number two i hope the information uh, i share uh, is useful for you so before you do any upgrade to your folding bike if there's a really folding bike or any folding bike uh, do put some of the command uh, i gave into consideration uh, and last but not least if you have any comment or any upgrade that you do on your folding bike or on your ready classic folding bike do also put in the comment at the below um, if you want to know where do i buy those items like the grip the the, the saddles and and uh, anything that i change do also leave a message at the bottom i will reply you uh, i do not want to put in my uh, link put the link on the on the description area because uh, i'm not I'm not the affiliate, I didn't sell things for them. It just so happened that I just want to share my experience. So do put a comment below and I will, tr I will reply you all as soon as possible. Thank you and do stay tuned for episode 3 when I change the crank and who knows, maybe the tire. And also I will update some ride that I did uh, throughout this uh, year end where I will have, have to clear some of my leaf. Uh, I, I will make some trip with the folding bike. Bye bye. Thanks.